Hi, good evening and welcome to Amwell's monthly webinar for the month of uh, March 2020. Welcome everybody. We have uh, many people from different parts of the world. Wow, this time a lot of people from India also signing up. That's great. And uh, in fact, uh, there is a reason for choosing uh, today's topic. So let me start. Uh, I'm Adnan. And uh, this webinar is in connection with uh, AFT Quantum Energy Healing. And here we will be talking only about uh, the AFT Quantum Healing and uh, why we need that healing, uh, a new modality and all these we will be talking in detail. So anybody is having any questions, concerns regarding this topic today, at the end of the session, I'll try to uh, address those questions as well. So once again, good evening to all of you and good morning for those people. They are in the morning zone and welcome to Amwell's monthly webinar for the month of March 2020. Today's topic is a part of uh, our uh, AFT Academy the webinar, which we are conducting almost every month. And the, the topic uh, we have uh, given is why AFT? Why AFT, the reasons? the expectations of uh, AFT. In this, uh, in fact, you all know that uh, alternative medicine has always, uh, you know, struggled with uh, competition in a new world relying on allopathic medicine. So in a similar manner, a holistic medicine has also somewhat uh, faced the same persecution from governments and medical professionals and all. So even in some cultures, you know, it was even associated as a witchcraft. Now, on the contrary, now holistic medicine uh, is known to be very effective for uh, treatment of chronic diseases and things like that. Anyhow, before going to the whole session, I would like to bring a small disclaimer that this information contained in this presentation has not been evaluated by FDA. This information is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. All information provided is for educational purposes only and always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you have regarding a medical condition and before undertaking any diet, exercise or other health programs. So let me start the, the topic straight away. And you all know that uh, I'm well has been sincerely, you know, uh, it is our endeavor to promote the AFT quantum energy healing. And uh, we have got now a huge number of facilitators all around the world. And uh, almost uh, majority of the people, they are in touch with us also. And they are on a day-to-day -day basis. They are working on their clients and they are getting a lot of uh, responses from the uh, good responses and uh, you know, from the people regarding the AFT quantum healing and all. So, in fact, recently I was in uh, India for a, you know, for a retreat program. So there, uh, it was a two days retreat and uh, most of the participants were uh, from different kinds of uh, modalities they are practicing. And the one guy from that I met, in fact, he told me that he has done almost all kinds of uh, holistic healing modalities almost 20 he said I said 20 even i thought maybe four five six are there but he said i have done already 20 modalities so when i was talking about aft he said then again one more now i need to learn then he said you tell me you prove that what is the necessity why aft then I will look into that also. Then I would love to learn. He's a little spiritual guy, a senior guy. That day I was, it, it was in my mind. This is something, a great topic that, uh, of course, he, was, he got convinced with the way I have uh, explained what is the need for AFT, you know, even though we have many hundreds of modalities available uh, right now. So when I was keep on talking to him, then it just came to my mind that this should be uh, a topic uh, for our next webinar so that even other members and 
facilitators who are listening to also can get some sort of an idea how to talk about because you're meeting a lot of people in the marketplace when we talk about AFT or again one more people will talk so it, we need to know some basic science and all these kind of things so that is our main purpose or main agenda of today's webinar and uh, you all know that the Amwell's mission our mission is to spread the awareness of energetic wellness to all and we believe that no one should suffer from ailments, disorders, and diseases. When everyone has the innate ability to heal themselves. So in AFT quantum healing, we help facilitate that healing. Now, before going to the session, I just would like to give a small idea about some people when they talk about health and healing and some people talk about conventional medicine, mainstream medicine, you know, there's certain terminologies and all. So I just wanted to give a small, uh, what do you call it, a picture on the, the healing modalities or uh, the, the major one normally people talk about. Number one, the whole uh, the medicine system. We can call, you know, what we can divide into two. One is uh, conventional medicine, which is, of course, allopathy. And the other one is uh, complementary, alternative and holistic medicine. In fact, there are three, which is complementary and alternative medicine separate and uh, which uh, includes like homeopathy, naturopathy, homeopathy is from Europe and uh, Ayurveda also from India, plus the traditional Chinese medicine and all. Normally we call like a vital body medicine, that is second. And at the same time, now recently, uh, it's getting quite popular about the mind-body medicine and all these kinds of things and the energy medicine or holistic medicine. But anyhow, I'm just now making two divisions. One is uh, allopathy, which is the conventional medicine, and the other is the holistic and alternative and complementary medicine. We all know that the conventional medicine, it is very straightforward. The whole science is based on Newtonian approach, Isaac Newton, the Newtonian approach, or they call like the scientific materialism. That means everything they consider like as a matter, as a material. So they don't consider anything which is not a matter or which is not having any physical form. So for the allopathic uh, medicine uh, point of view, for them, the non-material things they don't consider. Like, for example, when we talk about mind, of course, mind, you cannot touch it. Or you talk about the auric bodies or the biofield and the subtle organizing energy field. These are basically the energy bodies, you know, or the vital body or subtle body we call. For them, they don't care. Whatever they see, the physical, they believe it and they work on that. Because the whole system has been built on uh, the physical body. That too, not only just physical body, the main difference between the holistic medicine or the alternative medicine and the allopathy, the main difference is that allopathy, of course, it's hundreds of years. They were doing research and other things only on the cadaver or the corpse or the dead bodies. Then once they find that, you know, it's working and all these kind of things, then they slowly extrapolate it to the live body. So initially, the whole research and everything was done on the dead body. Then later, they extrapolated on a live body. Whereas the other medicine, which is a vital body medicine, or uh, when we talk about the you know uh, homeopathy or Ayurveda or any kind of other uh, holistic healing modalities, these are all uh, thousands of years old medicine or approach where they straight away work with a live body because of course when a person is live only he will have the proper energy meridian the energy pathways the chakras and other things so they cannot work on a dead body rather they have to work only on a live body that is the only major difference how these two medicines have emerged and all these and of course which is a science which has been proven very effective and all millions of years before in different parts of the world so that is the reason always uh, nowadays the holistic healing modalities and uh, other alternative complementary medicine is gaining so much, so much importance, you know. And this is uh, very effective also. It has proven to be very effective uh, for especially the treatment of chronic diseases and even uh, mental and psychological issues. And it is very well known for anxiety plus stress-related issues and uh, you know all these kind of things. So that is one thing. 
it is good to know that the traditional healers use a holistic approach which tackles a broad spectrum of uh, issues especially on four main levels like mental physical spiritual and emotional all these uh, four levels they cover so this treatment focuses on preventing disease and uh, injecting positive changes in order to maintain uh, a balance among these uh, four uh, aspects uh, you know like a mental physical spiritual and emotional so now a uh, holistic approach is continues continues to increase in popularity worldwide and uh, this is why now many organizations have now started recognizing holistic healing alongside conventional medicine and uh, they understand that the holistic approach is not limited you know just to physical healing but also other dimensions like the spiritual emotional and the mental so as far as uh, the diseases and health is concerned one view is that the disease affects only on one part of the body like uh, allopathic medicine they think that the, when the disease affects it or affects only on one part of the body like for example you have a chest pain it is of course they they connect with the heart you know it is heart related or you have asthma so immediately okay that is connected with the lungs or the lung is involved so treatment can be only local the treatment goes only local so just like a vehicle you know one tire goes flat so we just change it so it does not affect anything else on the same vehicle that is one way one approach normally in the conventional medicine they do it but we need to understand one thing human body however is totally different because it's literally one soul and one body you know so everything is correlating and, uh, and interrelating to each other all parts are linked to one another so this is the reason why diseases such as diabetes asthma arthritis you know they don't have a long term solution in modern medicine okay so you cannot treat even one part of the body and think that it has nothing to do with the other parts of the body no you cannot uh, go on treating one part like an isolated object uh, because it's not isolated we are as a whole it's a part of a whole that is the reason or that that's the importance of holistic uh, medicine so the human body we are conceived as one developed as one and uh, we lived as one and of course we die as one so it should be treated as one as a whole that is the whole thing about the holistic approach and from this uh, word whole the holistic approach the whole thing came out now you know that the holistic medicine is known to be very effective especially for the treatment of chronic diseases and uh, even mental and uh, psychological issues as i told you traditional healers are really working on the broad spectrum of uh, mental physical they know that certain like the mind body medicine how they deal with like whatever is happening in your mental level or your emotional level it will have a manifestation or a or a effect on the physical level so they have found it and uh, and it started working on that particular uh, subtle body or the mental body directly because when you have a problem which has been created by mind the mind only have to heal and of course if mind can create a disease and the mind can only heal the disease so that way you need to work on on the area where it has started and the modern medicine also now they have uh, understood and they say that 70 percentage of the diseases are produced you know aggravated by the stress factors they call it uh, psychosomatic so that is also one area which everybody knows you know so nowadays like uh, when we go to the doctors you know the doctor will directly say like uh, okay this is something psychosomatic but when you ask what is this you know what should i do it's all uh, okay you do one thing don't take stress take rest uh, do meditation do yoga you know travel around the world sorry now they will not tell travel around the world because of covid 19 but stress you know that you know stress cannot be generalized and uh, we human being are all different from one another and uh, stress is not coming from uh, how the situation is but how much or how each individual uh, perceive and reacts to the reality that's where you know so it's extremely individualistic so here the as far as the holistic medicine is concerned uh, everything goes individualistic because each and every individual is different 
that is uh, one area. So human body, as I told you, it's conceived as one, developed as one, and lived as one, and dies as one. So we should be treated as a whole, and that is the importance of the whole holistic approach. Now, we know that uh, there are many dimensions of wellness. Of course, you know, when people, they talk about, okay, I'm healthy, she is healthy. Health doesn't mean that, you know, just the absence of disease or something like that. Imagine a person, he may be physically healthy, but uh, when he comes out of the flat and his neighbor is not looking at his face or greet uh, him, that means he doesn't have the social uh, wellness. Okay. Or maybe some people, they are physically having problems. Some people, they are having emotional issues. So whatever the wellness we are talking about generally, like intellectual, spiritual, environmental, financial, occupation, and all. So all these wellnesses are together completely as an equilibrium, you know, as a homeostatic, it should come. So most of the time, you can always find these different dimensions are always having some sort of stress. Stress can be for your emotional stress, intellectual stress, spiritual stress, financial stress, social stress, you know. So you can add this uh, stress to all these because all are, of course, connected with uh, stress. As I told you, stress is totally individualistic. So, so how does he experience the stress? And uh, then you can easily address the problem if somebody is having problem and uh, you know any any sort of uh, problem or imbalance in any of the realms what we are talking about so it's not just by not changing the stress but changing the perception of the individual into a more healthy perception then everything you can see like uh, gets better stress when we talk in detail now world health organization they call stress worldwide epidemic <laughs> so Stress is one of the major, major reasons. Of course, that is an emotional and uh, mental area where it comes. And uh, this is uh, totally different from our physical aspect. That is the reason whatever you need to do directly with the physical body, which is the conventional approach, and whatever we need to do with the non-physical body or the subtle body, you need to address directly from the subtle body. So if you ask me, which is the best approach for all these kind of wellness and stress-related and the other areas of our uh, health and wellness, you can always say the best approach is the holistic approach. It's not the physical, I mean the allopathic approach. But at the same time, we cannot completely disregard the allopathic approach because anything, everything, first of all, we need our body alive because the holistic medicine will work only on a live person. It won't work on a dead body. So it should be always our first preference to keep the body alive. So for that purpose, probably like, for example, if somebody is meeting with an accident, then you cannot, uh, you know, maybe his brain is out. So you cannot just go and do the wanding or do any sort of energy healing there. For that, you need to address directly. It should be taken as emergency and the proper care should be given at least to keep the body alive. So once the body is alive, then only even as per quantum physics also, there should be an observer. Uh, you know, it's, it's all observer effect, you know, the, the, in the quantum approach. So the brain should be alive so that at least we can uh, do the collapse by choosing the possibilities from you know the health and healing so the person has to choose I me mean, personally mentally and uh, physically he should be at least alive then only the whole holistic approach or vital body medicine approach will work so if you see a small statistics here which is a you know stressful stats you can find one in five americans experience extreme stress you can find one in five americans experience extreme stress and uh, that is also more into physical area like shaking heart palpitation and some other areas like depression and all so these are all related by stress and the stress is the basic cause of 60 percent of all human illness and disease of oh, stress is the basic cause of 60 percent of all human illness and diseases and 75 percent of doctors visits are 
for stress related issues this is a simple uh, statistic so you can make out what is the role of stress in creating illness or imbalance or disorders in our body and mind and uh, other areas so everyone they would love to be in that state you know we call like homeostasis uh, normally it's like a triple manifestation we call so like body soul and uh, mind but here we call like uh, physical information and energetic this is like a triple manifestation and these are all connected if you take the whole uh, human body you know we can uh, put into three systems number one is physical system number two is information system and number three is energetic system so once you bring these three into a sort of balance you know by interconnecting sort of balance this is where the homeostasis comes and in fact all these three uh, levels i mean uh, physical information and energetic these are already interconnected uh, knowingly or unknowingly i always share uh, a very simple uh, example like for example a mother a mother she is singing a song you know cooking uh, in the kitchen all of a sudden uh, a phone call comes from the school of her kid the teacher is calling or the principal is calling and telling ma'am your your child has uh, fallen down and uh, he broke the the front probably three four two or whatever it is so imagine if such a ill news comes to her she was already in a very happy mood and all singing and all but all of a sudden the the bad news came the ill news came immediately she got very upset and uh, she doesn't know what to do some people when the the stress is going up uh, automatically the they might get headache or some people even they get diarrhea or uh, vomiting or whatever you know it depending on people to people how they how they perceive it so most of the time we can see that you know when such uh, upsetting information or news and this news is just energy you know it is just coming just a phone call it's just happening at the energetic level but see how much impact it has created on her information level which is her endocrine level where the unwanted unnecessary the hormones and other things are secreted like cortisol and adrenaline and all which as a part of the stress and this uh, hormones and the biochemical reaction what has happened in her body of course it will have its influence on other areas like sometimes some people will feel headache or diarrhea or whatever so what i mean to say with this is like now what she has been feeling it is on her physical body so always energy information and physical these are all it's like a triple manifest these are all always together and uh, that is how we always feel any kind of problem in our but once you have proper maintenance and proper equilibrium on your all these three levels then it will be very easy to reach that level of uh, homeostasis and uh, the beauty is that we will be so happy also to learn that we have the greatest ability to heal ourselves our body has the innate intelligence to heal ourselves now this must be one of your favorite slides in most of the webinars you can see just to learn that our body has an innate ability every now and then every minute or every second cells are being replaced in our body and eventually in 365 days the whole body is brand new so it's an ongoing process nobody can stop it it's an ongoing process that is why our body has an innate intelligence or innate ability and uh, if you see the medical uh, system approach also normally we call the allopathic approach is something like a newtonian approach where the we called upward causation where they talk about like okay the elementary particles it makes uh, atom then atom make cell then cell make organ organ make brain then after that only the brain takes control of the whole thing so they always uh, go upward but whereas the holistic medicine or the quantum medicine approach comes like it is downward causation like for example the the whole body you know if you split into body you get the organs and then the organ you split you get cells and the molecules and the atoms of atomic particles and all these kind of things so we go deep down so that is the different uh, approach so here main thing 
one item what you see atom let us talk about atom you know this atom imagine uh, two atom create a molecule and molecules create cells and also how many even cells we have in our body almost 70 to 100 over trillion cells we have in our body so how many trillions and trillions of atoms we will have in our body i don't know how to count how many zeros are there now so that much atoms are there in our body now when we have even a very simple example just by a deep breath in you are taking in 10 to the power of 22 atoms we are consuming with a deep breath so you can imagine how much uh, you know how many atoms will be there in our body of course once we split our body what we get is atom also in the last later stage and when we split also the atom into many other uh, subatomic particles we get electrons protons neutrons then again we keep on split of course we get the empty space normally what uh, people talking about you know but here there is a small uh, thing what we need to talk about like the zero point thing and all but when you talk about the atom here our body like for example in my body i have trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of atoms and each and every atom is in a dynamic state it keep on moving keep on moving it never stand still so imagine my body which is consisting of trillions of atoms which is i'm a part of the universe because when i even breathe in i breathe in the the bits and pieces of heart and kidney whatever who they just breathed out so it's it's like we all are sharing even our uh, parts of the body because the moment you breathe out you are literally breathing out the bits and pieces of our heart kidney liver whatever because every now and then our whole body self regeneration and all this kind of happening so that is why in our body we have that much amount of atoms and all the atoms are in a dynamic state and imagine if i sleep tonight as adnan there is no guarantee that tomorrow i can wake up as the same person in the same shape because always atoms are moving around so probably my eyes will be somewhere or nose will be somewhere you know now so so here you can see it is not happening so you sleep in the night and perfectly you wake up also in the same shape next day so that means there is some magic thing happening here we need to find the importance of our system our human body see we are a bundle of condensed energy you know condensed and condensed energy so we are a living matter of course matter itself is something which is holding a structure of a human being you know it's just energy only we are 100% energy only so being a human being here human body we think that it is just controlled by chemistry alone it is not it is not controlled by chemistry alone rather the information and energetic system keeps everything running at the level of precision in the body dimension that means there is something beyond that the chemical uh, whatever is happening and that is what is called the biofield this is where i am coming from like the body why tonight i sleep and tomorrow i wake up in the same shape even though my body is a condensed and condensed and condensed form of matter and i have something like covering my body which is in, in fact keeping my body shape intact otherwise you know the atoms are moving around probably my organs will move here and there it doesn't happen because this is the function of our bioenergetic field and this bioenergy field or subtle organizing energy field is something which is really keeping our body intact that is the reason as ages goes by the people their the skin is also going very loose and other things so plus if there is any depletion in our aura that is already having a problem happening in our body like you know ozone layer and the earth you can just imagine like that so this is an area where we find the importance of human biofield so it is a self directed and the self organizing intelligent system that directs the information and energy flow of the body that is crucial to the genetic and chemical and physiological process of the body this is an area now we know this area also like the you know we have got different realms we and we talk like mental spiritual emotional and physical area 
Now, we have the physical body and we have the subtle body or energy body we call subtle organizing energy field. At the same time, the science has already proven like it is not the physical body that is creating the energy body, rather it's other way around. The energy body or the subtle body is creating our physical body. It's already proven by uh, Dr. Rupert Sheldrake and all. They are talking about the morphogenetic field and how the blueprint uh, of each and every organ or our body is the which is uh, creating our uh, body parts or organs and all. So it's already proven in uh, quantum physics. Uh, uh, about the importance of the subtle body or our energy body in creating or uh, uh, manifesting our physical system. Here, one more thing I wanted to talk about the human cell. So when we talk about the why AFT, even I'm coming to that point, you will understand when I go through one by one. So when we talk about even human cell, we have to, uh, trillions of our cells and the cell is supposed to emit certain uh, amount of uh, voltage, which is 70 to 90 millivolt. And if the body or the cell, which is making a different system in our body, like immune system, like lymph nodes or heart or liver, stomach, if that particular organ, uh, which contains uh, probably a cluster of cells, uh, billions of cells, and if that cell doesn't have enough amount of electricity or enough amount of the emission, electric emission and the voltage, then of course the function also will be affected and it won't be able to function properly. If we take the liver, you know, liver has certain functions like detoxification, protein metabolism and bile secretion and also it will not happen the way it should happen. It ought to happen, but it will not happen if it doesn't have much energy to carry. So this is an area where always our body is having or developing different sort of uh, illnesses when there is no proper amount of uh, voltage in our cells okay of course the voltage is coming from through the energy only and the energy we need to get from our proper nutrition the food and the air and water and all this that is okay but that is only very very few amount you can say like a 30 percent 20 to 30 percent if we get all this energy from this but if you see the major chunk of portion of energy for our body we need to get from the environment in fact that is free you don't have to pay for it. But the problem is that that energy, this life force energy, what we are talking about, that you need to be tuned to that. Otherwise, it is not easy because our physical body, whenever we are not tuned or whenever we create ourselves a sort of imbalance by our thoughts because our body is it, it just a manifestation or it's just a, a mirror reflection of our energy body. So in our energy body where our one of the main field is our mental field and, and the emotional field, in that field, if we having a, a wrong and negative emotions and other areas, then this our even belief system, past trauma and everything. So these things, it will have a negative influence on our physical body and that eventually creates a sort of blockage and that blockage will, will not help us to get the amount of life force energy what we need to get from the environment. So always you can see when there is an imbalance happening, like for example, there is no proper amount of energy going in or the energy blockages or imbalance, whatever it is, it will always, uh, you can see with certain uh, like a graphic representation, which is a picture from the gas discharge visualization system. So all these imbalance, what you see, it will lead to a disorder and later this disorder will lead to diseases. This is what exactly happening in our case. So whatever the problems we have in our body, whether it is mental, physical, emotional, or whatever it is, these are all basically from these three major points as far as the energetic wellness is concerned. And that is lack of energy, energy blockages, and uh, energy interferences. So this also we have been talking in many, many webinars. Now here you are coming back to the second slide, which is now the holistic health approach. We have uh, different areas, right, from the, the biologically based approaches like you know, the herbs, vitamins, and uh, diets and all. And we have the manipulative and the body-based therapies like the chiropract, massage, osteopathy at all. And uh, at the same time, there's a new branch of uh, holistic approach uh, started. They call it as a mind-body medicine. 
and that also is you can find like hypnotherapy and the yoga spirituality all these kind of things and the energy medicine is also there like the reiki or you know many many there are hundreds of uh, mudra healing recently i heard now new modalities like mudra healing and all these it is also gaining momentum so that is also there plus along with the other alternative medical system like homeopathy so basically if you see in the whole holistic health approach our science and technology which is aft which is really fitting at the right place in the middle you can find because all the people they are into energy and the healing especially when they talk about the energetic or the subtle body our aft can be one of the best approaches or one of the best tools you can use for this kind of approach now when we talk about the healing part of it the olden times they use the even now also the quartz crystals and laying hands and all these kind of thing so we call touch of healing now that time they don't know like you know where does the energy coming from now i am coming to the point where does this energy coming from but now the quantum physics has uh, categorically after the went of uh, quantum physics and quantum physics was talking about the consciousness because you know in the there is always been conventional medicine it was not ready to accept anything which is not physical one reason because the physical can only contact or can only communicate with another physical physical cannot have a communication with a non physical our mind for example or energy body or auric body it's totally non physical so non physical cannot have a signal communication the non physical always can communicate it's like a non local communication so quantum physics came into picture which was talking about there is a non local communication so there can be a chance that even a physical body can even communicate with a non physical body which is our auric body or which is our energy body so when the quantum physics came into picture and started talking about the consciousness which is mediating this kind of uh, the interaction between the physical and non physical here we got some clarity like what exactly happening and what is the energy and how does the energy help us in many ways for our wellness and all this so there are lots of books written on that so now whatever we know which was like unknown thing now scientists have already uncovered and it has you can find in many books you know now the people different people they call this uh, energy in different uh, names like in india they call prana in uh, some countries they call mana ki chi and all these kind of, but basically it's all energy it's all same you know energy which is uh, life force energy universal life force energy that is all same only the different different words they use in different countries now we will come to the zero point energy which is the basic of our aft healing and aft modality so zero point energy is something which we use which is already a proven science there are many books written on zero point energy and uh, there are a lot of uh, scientist uh, you know inventions happened and uh, they found that there is a quantum fluctuation and uh, and this is the this works as a reservoir of all the energy to flow so with the presence of zero point energy it is very easy for the life force energy to flow so this is the basic principle what we have used and we created the tools and the uh, active tools and passive tools and the whole science itself which is aft based on this zero point field whereby we can create a sort of vortex of energy where it can easily help people to heal if you see the there are many many the olden times we call like uh, human resonance is there if you go to uh, jungle where there's no man made frequency or plant and animal around you can find the, the human resonance so that is also a healing frequency and some places you go to like a rain forest there also 12 hertz you can find this is uh, also a healing frequency at the same time you go to the secondary healing frequency like for example the healers the spiritual masters and other things they use almost 12 to 30000 hertz so these are basically called the healing frequency so here we instead of going through all these primitive areas of healing now this is uh, the technology age we have come out uh, 
with a beautiful gadget and with a beautiful science which is mi diffusion technology and uh, it's a simple quantum resonance uh, technology we, i should say the technology of the future and applying this science and technology we make a lot of tools like for example one of our key flagship tool the m wand and this mi diffusion technology we normally we take the organic products and the natural elements and all these ingredients first we do the cleansing from all the negative contaminants and then charge it with the vacuum chamber for over 21 days and the, the resonance you know it's very much amplified and this is what we use simply you just create you know it will not work if you just keep it somewhere but you just need to take and create a rotation you know the movement here there will be a zero point uh, vertex uh, created so it will be easy especially when you work on our different meridian points and our energy field and all these it really helps us so this is the basic uh, of this so when you talk about uh, why aft now you know what is the medicinal system what are the approaches and what is the science we are using and now instead of going through the primitive areas of the channeling of the energy and passing the energy and all instead of that now we are going to a complete a, a technology age where we can use some sort of a gadget and we have the zero point resonance and we have the know how we have the technology how we can create a sort of the zero point because you know in that uh, the spiritual session i met many people they said i have stopped healing people because you know i started developing problem because they don't know they are not protecting themselves properly they just go out and heal others we cannot uh, play around with energy like that energy always fall from up to down so if you are not protected enough and your personal vibration is strong enough of course easy for you to get the problem of the person whom you are going to heal so that is the reason always it is much safer for the healer and healer as well to use some sort of a gadget or tool with which easily they can facilitate the healing so there is no interference so there is no manipulation of energy either from the healer or from the healer that is the beauty what we are talking about see the picture before and after energization you can find the different is the gdv picture so this is how we have developed the product and we have embedded our technology on different uh, nutritionals and personal wellness and environment products and all these so whatever the product uh, normally human being use or they are on a daily basis so we are applying we are trying even new new products are in pipeline so we are applying our technology to come out with a lot of uh, objects which we are using on a day to day basis now by using the same technology by using the same principles after doing lot of years research and we have created a new modality a new approach towards the holistic healing a paradigm approach to the healing and that is aft quantum healing now if you see why we want aft healing number one there are so many reasons of course that i will come again on that but here we have created our own modality by using the leveraging on these energized tools without any interference or manipulation of individual you can really do the healing you know you can really uh, facilitate the healing so aft quantum healing is gaining very much momentum nowadays and uh, in aft quantum healing the aft tools and products act as a conduit conduit for universal life force healing energy anyone you know can self heal or uh, help facilitate the healing in others by simply using the aft quantum energy product to rebalance the subtle organizing energy field so it, it's very easy even if you know the steps you know you don't need if you want to drive a car you don't need to become a automobile engineer you can just have the practice so like that we have a very specific 10 uh, steps uh, just internalize and it's very easy to learn and perform and see the result so that's how we made it so simple and so handy and here you can see i was telling you about all the problems like lack of energy energy interferences and energy blockages these are the major major root reasons for all kinds of problems such as stress mental disorders fatigue depression aches and pains chronic diseases and all now see easily we can apply our technology there itself and that will be the answer that will be an area where easily whatever the major problems you find here it will be solved directly by aft and aft can be one of the best tools and safe tools 
as far as the holistic healing approach is concerned. And uh, you know that energy healing, in energy healing or therapy, there are, uh, of course, there is spiritual healing and, uh, you know, alternative on these modalities. You can find uh, the patients, uh, they direct the energy to the patient's body, you know, for the positive result. So for learning all these kind of different modalities, whether it is, you know, I don't want to name any particular healing modality, but most of the modalities, they use our body to channel the energy. Here, there are many, many uh, things like, uh, okay, you might get the temporary relief, number one. Number two, you know, even to learn how to do the healing, it's a long-term learning, probably years and years, probably you need to learn some chanting mantras and this and that. It, there are a lot of uh, rituals and practices are there in some modalities. And sometimes certain things you need an innate skill. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. You need an innate skill also. And uh, certain times you need long sessions or multiple sessions and two long sessions. And sometimes even the person who is going to heal also, he loses the energy. As I told you, that lady, you know, she stopped the healing because she started getting all the problems. So sometimes you drain your energy and uh, there is also a risk element uh, as far as the manipulation of energy is concerned, the healer and healing. So that is also the, and it's not also easy to convince people. When people is talking about science and technology, you cannot talk something simply spooky and come out of it. You know, now that people, they can just Google and find out, you know, what they're talking about and how, what scientific background it has and what is the research papers they have done or whether it is scientifically or empirically proven and all. Because many people, they go scientifically. So that is another reason it's not easy to convince. Now, the plus point with uh, AFT, it's very unique. Number one, instant results you can see, especially in terms of pain and other discomforts and uh, feeling of peace and other things. You can immediately, it's an instant result. And rejuvenation of our cells, of course, happening, which makes us feel that, you know, we'll be getting more younger, that kind of a feeling we will have. And uh, it provides the body with necessary tools to self-heal and uh, less reliance on the medicine. So these are the uniqueness when we use the uh, AFT, then it increases the vitality and energy, support the immune system and uh, bring body into balance through cleansing, charging, and major energy centers, supports the body, the energetic and emotional, mental, and physical well-being. And uh, of course, all products are very safe to use. And uh, these products, even M1 and all, you don't need to clean all the time like the crystals other people, they do. You can, you can share with anybody and you can use it, except for certain like ampent and all, which you cannot, it's a totally personal. And it is very easy, the whole thing, the whole science, especially AFT quantum healing also, it is very easy to learn and practice. So these are the major areas. And of course, to be in a very good state of mind and body, if you just follow five steps like nutrition, hydrate with water, the regular eating exercise, proper sleep, rest, and you know, do the detox. And with that, just add AFT, do the energy balancing. That's it, if you really want to energy. So... We all know that our life is in direct proportion with our energetic quantum. Just keep in mind, our life is in direct proportion with your energetic quantum. And always we have thousands and thousands of words to say that why AFT? Yes, AFT is something amazing. Without AFT, it is very risky. With AFT, you can easily go about, you can easily heal people and everything you can heal. Then just experience it so when all the people like whoever are the, listening to my webinar today especially the facilitators so this is a wonderful thing you can always explain scientifically that what is the need of aft thank you so much for listening to me okay thank you very much atnan for sharing on the why aft we hope uh, this information is uh, beneficial to you and of course, uh, AFT quantum healing is a modality that we have developed with using AFT healing kit. And uh, they go through a online tutorial, they get the certification. And, and of course, with that and with the workbook, they are able to perform AFT quantum healing onto others. AFT quantum healing is not a self-healing process. It's about helping others heal or facilitating others heal. So... Meantime, if you have any questions concerning this, you can just um, type it on the chat box and uh, we can answer. If not, I'll move into the next uh, 
topic. Any questions? All right. So Atnan, do uh, you want to share about yes. the 10 uh, steps, something about the 10 steps of quantum healing and what the results you have got? Yeah, 10 steps. Uh, once uh, I think I can find a lot of uh, facilitators are already listening to. And uh, basically the 10 steps we have uh, created in uh, such a way, it is very easy to follow. And, uh, out of these 10 steps, if you religiously follow one by one, right from the interview and the intention setting and you know there are many many areas i don't want to go in detail of course whoever is learning the whole course they will uh, learn properly so i can just give you an overview like uh, you can address when you meet somebody when you're healing somebody of course you need to know what problem he has but at the same time you don't need to know completely because energy will do it because as I told you, like all the problems are just created by the energetic imbalances, energetic uh, blockages and disorders. So it is easy. You don't need to even know also whether his uh, liver is at right side or the heart is left side. That also you don't need to know. Just the basic principle, energy, his energy is imbalanced. Work on the energy, you know, even without knowing much into anatomy and the physiology and all. Once you do a simple step, you know, the movement, like for example, there are seven chakras and how to rotate the M1 clockwise and how to open the chakras and how to do the right hemisphere, left hemisphere, a simple step so that very easy to learn. And uh, of course, from the interview itself, you will get an idea about whether this person is having total direct physical pain or something or maybe something related to his psyche or mind. Then accordingly, he can, in the 10 steps we are giving in detail, uh, training on the, in what step, how they can go about, like for example, in the second wanting level, we do a lot of positive affirmations, we do a lot of, so which gives more empowerment, which helps their uh, emotional level and uh, other mental aspects are clean and strong. Plus, uh, the wanting is uh, that we do Unlike other modalities, you can find energetic hygiene is very important. Even energetic hygiene, we are not doing just for yeah. the, the person whom we are going to heal alone. Energetic hygiene is required even for the person who is healing also. Okay, uh, anyhow, I think uh, for the next yeah. webinar, we will uh, talk more in detail. Yeah, okay. if you want to know more information about quantum healing and uh, AFT quantum healing, you can always contact our support staff and we will have a one-to-one -one communication with you to, to share with you more on the details. All right, let's go to the part two, a special edition to today's webinar. It's on COVID-19. I think uh, the whole world is actually uh, looking into it and trying to find ways and means to overcome the current uh, pandemic that we are actually going through, so the COVID-19. I'm sure that uh, everyone that's listening in is also concerned about, you know, what is this new thing and how can I safeguard myself, my loved ones and my friends and associates? Because... See, what happened, pandemics, uh, it, it kind of uh, affects our day-to-day -day life. It even uh, deteriorates the economy so much so that, and, and of course, people disappear. When I say people disappear, is it causes a lot of fatality and so on. Current statistics of, of COVID-19, uh, there's about 135,000 cases worldwide, or close to 5,000 deaths so far, uh, about 5,800 People are in total serious uh, conditions right now. Uh, and there's about uh, 68,400 uh, over people that have actually totally recovered. 116 countries out of 195 countries are actually infected with this uh, COVID virus right now. It is not about where it's originates from and so on. It's how we can actually protect it. The world itself is becoming a smaller place because of the travel and, uh, you know, the interactions that we have with people from different parts of walk, or different parts of life and different parts of the world and so on. So uh, luckily, uh, the, uh, the fertility rate is still very low and it's, it definitely, we believe that uh, our good scientists uh, and our medical team around the world is able to put together a quick recovery for such a um, pandemic right now. So we're looking hopeful that we'll, we'll have something coming up very, very soon. Few things what the medical practitioners are advising is always wash your hand with soap and water for at least 20 times, especially after going to bathroom, eating, uh, blowing nose, coughing, sneezing, and so on, just to you know avoid or prevent the contamination. 
If you can't have water to wash your hand, uh, you can use your alcohol-based hand sanitizers, uh, wet tissues, sanitizers, and so on. So always keep your hand, because we tend to use our hands to touch our eyes, nose, and so on. So avoid those things. And also avoid close contact with people, people who are actually not feeling well. Don't alienate them. That's not the idea. It's, it's just, you know, we call it the personal discipline. So if you're not feeling well, isolate yourself. If someone is not feeling well, isolate yourself from them. And uh, if you're sick, obviously stay at home, take plenty of uh, rest uh, and so on. So if you're going to cough, sneeze or whatever, try to use a tissue, you know, cover yourself up and so on and another key uh, information we also got from is uh, you know if you can't have sanitizers and so on uh, if you're using an m water system you can actually take the uh, the low ph water the acidic water put it into a spray bottle so you can even use that as a sanitizing to clean your environment your offices your your home and so on especially when people are coming in and out and all those things so that's another way you can maximize your m water system all right and uh, try to avoid going indoor gatherings uh, social events and so on the initial spread of this virus happens when people went to hotel buffets and and that's where transmission actually happens so this is the basic advice the um, community is passing on our additional advice to you is if you have the healing mist you don't know the power of the healing mist if you have the healing mist you want to use that regularly to cleanse and strengthen your biofilm see what happened these are viruses and viruses can be nullified before they enter your body viruses can be neutralized so when you use the healing mist that has so much of uh, botanical blends in it, like clarisage, clarisage is a very high energetic resonance that actually destroys. It's, it's an antibacterial, antiviruses defense. So when you spray the healing mist regularly around your body, you, you can strengthen the field, you can cleanse the field, and you can also protect from the basic contamination of these viruses. And of course, for the seniors, you know, maybe your immune system is weak, you know, you're not having enough, uh, you are much more prone for such uh, issues and so on. You might want to boost your immune system with proper supplements like switch on, increase your, your saches instead of one a day. You might want to do two or three saches a day because you need to have a better immune system. You might want to have Amsole drops regularly. And also our latest product that we have introduced, Imifide. I'm sorry, we missed out the product picture that Imifide id is a immune boost that improve your immune gives you more energy and more power to fight against viruses every second our body is actually fighting viruses and bacteria and so on so it's nothing new it's just that our body must be strong enough to tackle any foreign invaders especially this new viruses that is there all around the world besides that one daily you don't know the power of the wand. You won't know the power of yourself unless otherwise you've been wanding daily. Close your eyes. Do the nine-step wanding. That's a simple protocol. Do it in the morning. Do it in the evening. Whenever you're free, you do it. Whenever you feel low in energy, tired, fatigue, stress, wand yourself regularly and wear the pendant. Because the pendant's energetic resonance itself, it blocks a lot of... Uh, radiations, it blocks a lot of uh, pollution, viruses, bacteria, and so on. So it's a very, very powerful ways and means to protect yourself, to protect your loved ones from the current pandemic that's happening right now. How is it possible? Simple. We have a field, Atnan mentioned earlier, we have a field. That field around us is called the biofield or the biophoton field or the subtle organizing energy field. This field is our force field, just like the ozone layer that is there protecting our Earth from the sun's radiation and whatnot and from the space and so on. The same kind of ozone layer is called the force field that we have around us. This field, if it's strong enough, it's able to protect us and block these unnecessary elements from invading into our system, into our energetic system. And at the same time, this field is strong, it's able to absorb the powerful universal life force energy to empower and enhance yourself. Right, this COVID-19, on behalf of the entire ML team, I want to affirm our commitment to supporting you, 
the COVID-19 outbreak has demonstrated how incredibly connected the world has become. I'm sure everyone is connect, calling each other and, you know, checking on each other and so on. And that when it comes to global health, we are in it together. Remember that everyone, whether it's your neighbor or the man on the street or your distant connections that you have around the world, we are all on this together and let's together we can improve ourselves, improve our life and fight against and, uh, and we can overcome this challenge. So if there is anything Emwell can do to support you during this time, maybe, you know, some of your associates or some of you are might be paranoid with what's happening right now or whatever concerns and so on. All right. We invite you to reach out to us, contact our customer service team. Our customer care team remains fully staffed and accessible. So if there's anything we can do for you during this troubled time, difficult times, maybe you might require some uh, distant healing for yourself or for your loved ones and so on. We could always work that out, arrange a time and help you out with you or your team and so on. With that, I'd like to thank you for spending your, your precious time with us this evening. We hope this information has been beneficial to you. Please share it uh, with others and get, get everyone empowered together in improving our lives and lives of others. With that, I thank you so much for being part of this, thank you, this thank webinar. You. And until we meet again, we wish you a wonderful weekend.